Now the speed of an object is just a measure of how quickly it travels a certain distance. And when we think about the speed of a wave, what we're really considering is how quickly the energy is transferred from one place to another. And we always measure speed in metres per second. In actual fact, uh, things like light and the whole EM spectrum, in a vacuum they travel at 300,000 thousand metres per second. It's the quickest speed that things can get to, it's incredibly fast. Things like sound, my voice at the moment in the air, is travelling at about 330 metres per second. And again, this is because you've got particles that are passing the vibrations on. But the speed of sound in air depends upon things like the air pressure. And also, if you had that speed of sound in a liquid or a solid, the particles are closer together, so they're quicker to actually pass these vibrations on. The other thing about speed is that um, we can actually calculate the speed of a wave if we know the frequency or the wavelength of that wave. Now, what you might see here is that if you've got something which has a low frequency, it's got quite a long wavelength. And that means the distance between particles that are in the same position is going to be quite big. But if you've got something with a higher frequency, what we see is that the wavelength decreases. And basically, for a certain fixed value of speed, when you've got a higher frequency, you've got a smaller wavelength of that wave. So this is the equation that links how fast the wave is travelling with the number of cycles per second and the length of that wave. So we can say that wave speed is equal to frequency times wavelength. Now, because this is the speed, we measure that in metres per second. Uh, frequency, it's the number of cycles per second, and this is measured in hertz. So capital H, lowercase z. And then the wavelength, because it's just a length, is simply measured in metres. And effectively, to shorten wave speed, because it's the speed of something, we just give it the letter V. Uh, that's equal to the frequency, which is small f, multiplied by the wavelength, which is this Greek letter lambda. So it's from the Greek alphabet. And that's why I've got this thing here. What we have over here is a very fluffy lamb. And if you remember about a very fluffy lamb, this then hopefully allows you to remember V equals F lambda. Again, the kind of Greek letter lambda over here. So if you think about very fluffy lambs, you'll remember V equals F lambda, which then hopefully allows you to remember that the wave speed is equal to the frequency multiplied by the wavelength. And provided you know two of these things, you can then work out the third property of that wave.